We are not reporters nor journalists. The views, information, or opinions expressed are strictly and solely barber shop talk. We pride ourselves on being uncut, unapologetic, uncompromising, unfiltered, and refuse to conform to anything less than. So if you can't, cut the cap. This ain't the show for you. Do y'all think the 5v5 gonna take it all? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Them niggas are smoking shit though. Yeah. I were close. Jay, Listen, I think I think at at the beginning they was trying to get it together and was playing around. Everybody then they started actually doing plays. You see like LeBron and Curry got different plays they calling out. They running in the game now and they, nah, they, I mean, but that goes. Nah, I mean, that goes with anything, though. Know what I'm saying, like, you gotta. I, yo, listen. I think people sometimes, you know, people a little see that. Know what I'm saying, like, like they just think because you put the best plays on the floor, okay, it's just gonna it be. It makes it easy. Yeah. Right. Know what I'm saying, nah, like them players gotta get. They gotta adjust. They gotta get used to playing with each other. Not, not to mention, know what I mean, you want a team. You're not on a team where. You're that guy, and there might be one other guy on your team, and then you know what what it's going to be every single game. Nah, yep. like this is a this is a situation. Know what I mean, where you got to figure out your role. Know what I mean, and you got to stick to that role, and you got to you got to embrace that role. Know what I'm saying, like, not everybody is going. Know what I mean, be on. Team USA and everybody gonna be dropping, you know, buckets every single game. Nah, it might call for that game. This game, next game, it might call for you to rebound. Next game, it might call for you to play some defense and lock a nigga up. Know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. it's not the same shit every time. Know what I mean, so a nigga gotta adjust. Know what I mean, yeah. you see them right now. Like right now, they you see they more comfortable with each other. They know. Each other spots, they know where each other gonna be. They, know what I'm saying, they got their intensity. They own in that. Know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. yep. What I like about it though is this minimum ISO ball. As much superstars as they have on that team, there's possessions with six and seven passes. Like, and that's 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 like a norm. Like where they pass the ball six times in a possession. That's that's not normal NBA type shit. So. And then it is for make- the Spurs. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but then on top of that, like people were complaining about Jason Tatum not getting <laughs> playing time. How, bro? What are you talking about, bro? How, like, no, bro? <laughs> Yo, listen. I appreciate you. Listen, Steve <laughs> Kerr. Shout Steve out to Icarus, shout out to Space Jam and the team my full bash. Yeah. Now nah, you good? You good? Uh, Steve Kerr is a product of pop. You know what I mean? When it's time yeah. to get, when it's time We're to. We're a product of cap. Bro, what do you mean? Steve Kerr already what? spoke about this on the internet. Ain't no way, bro. Coach Ain't Popovich. No yo, bro, he, yo, not only has he taught him things that helped him excel in his career, he knows when it's time to go get that chicken. I'm a, I'm a, you know what I mean? Perform at that high level, man. Shout out to Coach Pop. Yo, how been you two of the greatest coaches. Yo, bro, them niggas ain't even, how did the Spurs even get into this conversation? Because he was asking, uh, he was no, he was he didn't ask. He was saying that uh, he never <laughs> seen the ball movement, but that's something that Steve Kerr yeah, he's, learned from Pop. On. But he was talking about Team USA, bro. <laughs> he's not talking about in the NBA. He's talking about in the Olympics. Yes, but who's who, who's the coach? <laughs> Steve Kerr ain't got nothing. To do LeBron with. James. <laughs> oh, yeah. What? what do you mean? Oh, no, no. Nah. LeBron, LeBron oh, no, no. Let me, oh, no. Let's be wrong. So you're telling no. me Steve Kerr is not the coach? Yo, He's the Kerr coach. Ain't I know LeBron I'm not going. James is the coach. <laughs> Yo, first of all, Kerr ain't never. First of all, Kerr is not from Pop coaching tree, bro. Yes, he is. Nah, he ain't He ain't never been under Pop. What do you mean? No, yes, he. Yo, he said. I don't know how, what, but he said it in the interview. He said, KBT. I. He said, I. Coach Pop helped me as a coach of understand. He taught. He was saying he taught him a lot and helped him elevate his coaching career. That's a fact. Right, That's right. on the he internet. Said that about multiple coaches. No, 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 no. No, he did it. No, he did it. No, he did it. No, he, he did not. He said that about Mark Jackson. Okay, y'all troll him. Okay. Really? Right. He said that about Phil Jackson, this is, too. This, uh, is yeah. cut, this is cut the troll. Okay. He said that about Phil Jackson. No, he did bro. not. I can actually <laughs> prove. I can actually pull this up. Da, 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 so da. he didn't say that about Phil? 
No, he did not. He actually, he did. He he actually is, did say and that. if and if I remember, I'm not gonna. If I remember quite thing, he definitely said he's from under the tree. I just don't remember the, the words that he used, but he praised how much Coach Pop helped him with coaching and able to do things on the floor with his players that other coaches weren't doing. No, okay, that just yeah. means he liked Coach Pop, bro. That's what oh my god, <laughs> I'm saying. Yes, Coach Pop was probably an influence to him. Know what I mean, or oh, that's all that was. Know what I mean, but he not from his coaching tree. Get that, nigga, yo, get that nigga out of here, bro. Know what I mean? So you think Steve Kerr's a, a good coach? Yes, Steve Kerr's a great coach. What do you mean? People want to play I mean, for him. A great coach is some is a is a coach that people want to play for. I mean, it played the way the players been talking about him lately. They they don't like it. They say he can only run a pick and roll offense. Who said that? They, they had a couple of interviews with some players. Like a lot of players that played under him said they couldn't really shine because the, if it ain't the pick and roll office, they don't know how to, you don't know how to get players into it. I, I think we need to categorize these players. <laughs> it, better, <laughs> it better not be no barbecue. <laughs> it better not be no barbecue. <laughs> Yo, dribble, man. What's true? Yo, dribble, that is very much true, bro. Fuck out of here, bro. Yo, Dribble, you a Lakers fan? Yeah, you are a Lakers fan. Though. Is you know he? Because yeah. I don't know what Dribble is from day to day. He's a Lakers he fan. A, he, he a Lakers fan, nah, man. He's gonna die on that hill. All right, so I say all that to say, um, we've been smoking stuff in the Olympics. Um, we just took the lead back with the most gold medals because China was kind of kicking our ass with gold medals. We got more medals overall, but gold medals they was leading, which is which is crazy. Um, Shakari Richardson got a silver medal. Uh, her, her situation's a little interesting. They didn't let her get into to warm up. And the Jamaican girl, I forgot her name. Uh, she she just she's like, oh, if y'all not let me in, I'm not even racist. So she disqualified herself. But Shakari got in that race while gangster. it was raining, That's without gangster. warming up, and got silver, which was that was gangster. That was fire. That that was super fire. Um, they won the women's 200. We won the, the men's, I think, 200. We, listen, we all over the place. We we smoking shit in the Olympics. We still we still holding strong. We still number one in sports in the world. Top of the world, Craig. Shouts out to them. 